in the spirit of hauntings, I'd like to share with you a book called Creepy Carrots. It's written by Aaron Reynolds and it's illustrated by Peter Brown. Do you remember what the person is called that writes the story? That's called the author. And what does an illustrator do? That's right, the illustrator makes the pictures. Creepy Carrots. Creepy Carrots. Oh. I see a couple of creepy carrots already. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some out for a morning snack on his way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough of those carrots. Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, the soft, sinister tum, tum, tum of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there to see. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around. But nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Woo! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, look inside of the window. Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible carroty breathing and there on his wall creepy carrots creepy carrots he shouted dad dad his dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light do you see what could have been making that shadow they searched under the bed no creepy carrots they looked through the closet no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Take that in for a second. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. Look what he's doing. <laughs> Look at that excitement on his face. Do you see the carrots behind the fence? And the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field. Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. 
No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. Oh, look at this. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field. Cheered! Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit, Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch again. What a twist in the story. These carrots don't look quite as creepy now, do they? Creepy Carrots by Aaron Reynolds. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now take a look and seesaw and you can create your own creepy carrot.